guys what up this is that toilet alex and today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a map effect with vegas pro and it is inspired from andrew's hand video so in order to make this effect you will need three plugins which is sapphire bcc and new blue plugins so once you have those plugins in your vegas you want to also download and install google earth pro on your computer so only google earth pro allow you to save the uh, map snapshots in 4k resolution so you can download this google earth pro at pirate bay so first of all you want to search the locations and then make sure you disable the plays and the layers and then you want to tilt your camera angle at 90 degrees and then you click file press save and save images so once you click save images this uh, three buttons here will be shown up and on the map options you want to disable everything and of course you want to save the uh, pictures in 4k resolutions and then if you on default it will show up sort of this um, uh, buttons here this sort of uh, labeling stuff so to get rid of this thing you just press this uh, number two and it will get rid of it so then you click save images and save it on your desktop so I already did mine and I got two different uh, snapshots of the map so basically you want to put your video uh, on your of course on your left side and then you want to basically zoom out to the map and then you want to transition to the second map and zoom into your next video like telling your viewers you are moving to the next location so I won't be teaching you guys how to make hyper zoom because I already did that tutorial. You can check it out on my channel. So once you already do the uh, zoom out and zoom in on the next video, um, you want to basically add some effect on your map. So the first effect that we're going to throw in is the cloud effect. So you want to go through the BCC plugins and search for BCC clouds, which is somewhere around here. Here it is. And already save mine as the presets so you want to copy all of these settings exactly so you want to choose the cloud direction this cloud direction is totally up to you the cloud speed must be around 0 0.20 scale x is 171 below speed is 0 0.34 the opacity is 78 and the cloud type must be buffy and the sky type must be composite on the original and the cloudiness you want to reduce all the way down to 14 and make sure this uh, settings must the same as um, must be same on your second map otherwise it doesn't work so once you're done add your uh, cloud on both of this map you want to add some sort of handheld uh, shakeness to your uh, map picture so you want to scroll down and search for new blue active camera so again I already save mine as a presets so you want to drag in in both of this map and again like I said earlier make sure both of this map has the same settings so on the active camera I just set my rate uh, 21 the jitter is 40 the blur is 0 and the crop is 16 so once you've done that uh, you want to basically readjust this effect a position so this BCC cloud here, you want to move all the way to the front, just beside pen and crop. And then the new blue active camera, you want you must basically change the position just beside the clouds. So make sure your pen and crop is on the first, your BCC cloud is on the second, and finally your um, active camera is, is on the third. And this two here is my hyper zoom presets. So you want to do the same thing on the second map. Just uh, change the positions. Oh, I think this map here. So again, like I said earlier, make sure your cloud just beside the pan and crop, and your active camera just beside the cloud. As you can see, if you move that way, you can see the cloud is moving accordingly with the handheld. Um, shakeness effect so now you want to basically transition from this to this uh, map so just a simple slight transitions so I want to start with the first map um, as you can see I already have the uh, S blur more curve 
on this um, first map here so you want to basically uh, adjust the uh, shift Y and the shutter duration now you can combine shift X and Y or only X or only Y it's up to you so I just want to do some basic moving downwards transition so the uh, keyframe it doesn't really matter it's up to you so I just want to add the, the first keyframe here and then move slightly back and then on the shutter duration you just want to reduce it all the way to uh, zero because if you add some shutter it will look so blurry and you don't know what really happening and on shift Y on the first keyframe here you want to select slow and then till the end of the keyframe you want to select it fast and then you can move it around four times of the uh, moving of the uh, Y positioning so as you can see it start to moving down fast and then on the second map you just want to do the same thing on the S Burmo curve here that I already have here so again shift Y and shutter duration and on the shutter duration on the first keyframe here you want to put it all the way to zero and then move on how many keyframes you want to so from here I'm going to add again another shutter duration and you want to bring back the shutter duration to its original position which is one and then on the shift Y since the first keyframe here is uh, four I want to make it um, before that I'm just going to add another keyframe here I don't need Z this and again slow and fast and change it into negative 4 so basically you got your transition from the first map all the way to the uh, second map Oops, it doesn't show up for some reasons. Oh, don't forget to enable reflection. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So let me replay that again. There you go. Look even smoother because you add the blur later on. So uh, pretty much that's it. So you can add some airplane moving by adding a, a J, uh, PNG pictures of an airplane and, and then just use pan and crop to uh, keyframe the plane moving around here so um, that's it that's how you make 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 uh, the uh, map effect with Vegas Pro so if you have any question related to this tutorial you can just leave it down in the comment section I'll, I will try to help you guys out so see you guys next time on my next video fantastic